All right, this video is about arrays. Uh, I'll be talking about image arrays this time, not not text arrays. Talked about that in my previous video. Um, this one's actually set up for the PC and for the Android device. So I'll show you how to how it works. <clears throat> All right, so I'm able to collect my items, and I'll go in the item box above in the white square by using the keyboard and see how I collected an item. You can press enter to use the item, and it goes away. Uh, then you can uh, collect an item with the keyboard, collect an item with the keyboard, and it just switches to the other item. Or you can use the Android device by using the arrow button to move, then pressing this button here to use the item, collect it, then use it. Or you can move through it um, and collect each item. then use it and then he stops right here doesn't move any further <clears throat> so I tested it on my Android it works fine so let me show you how I did this so get the object controller which I talked about in my previous video so I just grabbed Add event, create, grab coded sheet, and here is all all the same information I had in my previous video. So if you haven't seen my previous video, watch that first to better understand how I did everything. Because I'm pretty much just going to talk about the images, um, not the text. So I have all my spells here, which correlate to my images I have. All right, and then in the step event, it's the same information I talked about, the casting. So like I said, watch my previous video on how I how to understand how to do this first part with the rays. And there's also a link down below that better explains it if you don't understand how I'm explaining it. All right, so Then I have this wall, which is set to solid. So, there's a wall here that's gray. So when he hits this wall, he'll, he'll stop. He won't, he won't move any further. And I went to the Move tab, dragged over Graded Arrow 1. So that way he doesn't get stuck on walls. You don't want to use the green arrow one. You want to use the gray, gray arrow one and make the direction zero, speed zero. Make the object wall solid, of course. Now when he grabs the packages, the ice shards, the object keel, vanish, soul drain, and the fireball, this is what happens. So in the action, drag over. So you want to do a collision with each one of the packages in that event, collision. Drag over coded sheet, and this is how it's going to be reading. So, if keyboard underscore checks V key right, if he moves right using the keyboard, then open bracket image underscore index equals one, end bracket, then semicolon. So, <clears throat> this is stating that once he collects um, this package here, it's going to jump to image one. And image one is going to be the eye shards here. Image one here is eye shards. So in the my item box, I have all the images here. I have an image that's blank, then eye shards, and then the heel, fireball, the soul, and the vanish. And you can see here it flips through it. 
and I've talked about images before how to with how to keep them from um, flipping through each one you, you can have a setup where it'll be stabilized on one image and stop right there so I've talked about that in previous videos too so it's kind of the same setup here okay so and then the okay so let me go back here real quick so it's going to stop on image one which is um die shards then if he's using the mouse if mouse underscore checks underscore button open parentheses mb which is the mouse uh, code for game maker underscore left keep it left in parentheses then open bracket image underscore index equals one the in bracket then semicolon so that's also if you're using the mouse and you click on the the button arrow to move to the right then it's going to collect the one it's going to go to that jumps that one image which is the eye shards so whenever you're making a button for um, your Android device you always want to keep it at MB underscore left um, it's I don't know that's how I have always made my games I use the MB left as a code for pressing my button on any, any of my buttons if I have four buttons they're all going to be MB underscore left but for some reason the the right and those other if I make this right then it works too but I just keep it left it all works in the end using the same code doesn't have any any issues with using MB underscore left for the top right left or down buttons or even the fire buttons you can keep it left even when you're using your mouse you always use using the left button anyways you don't use the right also make sure that it's set up here to object image box you don't want it you want to make sure because this is under player so when he collects this it's going to be connected with the object image box which is this image right here which moves through the images The second part of the code is going to be if image number equals equals one, open bracket image underscore index equals one and bracket, and then you want to make sure it's connected to the image box. So that way it go it jumps to that one image in the when you collect it. Then Make sure it's set to object controller and the casting plus equals one. That always remains the same for each one of the um, each one of the the packages that you collect. It's always going to stay at one casting. And then you want to destroy the actual um, package or destroy other. Set it to destroy other. So if you have it set to self, it's going to destroy all of them. So you want to destroy other destroys that one package and then for the heel you're pretty much copying the same information from the ice charge except the only thing you're, you're changing is the number here which is going to be two set the same and index for moving your mouse is two or moving the keyboard and index is two so it's going to jump to the the other image for the heel so make sure that this number is different because if you don't have it different, then it's going to go back to the eye shards. So you're going to have it jump to a different image because it's a heel image. So the heel image is number two. And then the same thing applies here with the image number. This stays the same, equals to one, but the index is changed to two. Casting stays the same at one. Object controller. Then the vanish. The casting is one. 
then the image number is going to be one here, but right here the index is going to be three. So it's going to go to the image. It's going to jump to the vanish image, which is three. And then for the keyboard and the mouse, the index is going to be three. All this stays the same except for the image index, which is going to be the number third image, which is the the, the vanish. And same thing applies to the soul. So basically you're just copying all this and pasting it into each of the images here. The only thing you're changing is the number. See, this is number four. Four for the keyboard, four for the mouse. The image number, this is the same one, but change it here in the index, four. Casting stays the same. Fireball. It's going to be image 5, that stays 1, and then keyboard and mouse index is 5, 5. So if you watch my previous video on arrays with text arrays, you'll understand it better on how I'm doing this. But basically it's the same concept except I'm, I'm, I'm using images instead of text to collect my items and use them by pressing the enter key or the the button on the actual um, screen. Now you, you, you notice that when I clicked on the enter button or the the button on the screen that I didn't do nothing, it just went away in the image box, but if you watch my previous videos you'll t I talked about um, parenting and how to use objects when it's parented. So when you press a button it will be activated and you'll use your item and then it'll go away but um, like I said watch my other videos on that because this is basically just talking about how to collect the item and bring it into the image box okay so then when you press the enter button if keyboard underscore checks open parentheses V key underscore enter close parentheses bracket image underscore index equals zero bracket semicolon so basically you're using the image you press the enter button you're using the image so it jumps back to zero so zero means that the the image box is blank it's empty inside and the object set to object image box which is that box that has all the, all the items in it from blank to have an image The right press is just talking about moving the character 10 speed to the right, releases, he stops. Now the image for the character to move, I'm um, using the, the Android device, you want to make sure that it's set to out of then go to mouse and do the left press. And then make sure here when you do the move move fixed, it's the green arrows. Make sure you change it to object player, and then you're moving 10 speed. If you do, if you set this to self, then it's going to move the button. You don't want to have the button move. You want to have the character move. So you got to make sure you change it to object player. Then left release. Make sure it's set to object player up here in the move fixed and make sure the directions in the middle is in the, and speed zero. Like I said, if you have it set to self, it's going to mess with the button, it's not going to mess with the player. So make sure it's set to the object player. Button set the depth at minus 500 so it doesn't, so you're, the button's up front against everything else in the background. So it only affects that image. And then button, I just have a mask on it, and it's just a circle device precise. The other button, which makes you use the object, um, and then goes back to zero, it's left pressed in that event, coded sheet. So this is graded out because you're not using the keyboard, 
you're using the mouse. So if mouse underscore checks underscore button underscore press, when you press the button, MB underscore left, open parentheses, in parentheses, open bracket, image underscore index equals zero, in bracket, and semicolon. So when you press on the button, then it's going to jump to, um, you're going to use the image, and then it's going to jump to image zero, which is nothing inside the image box. And make sure that this is object image box is selected, not other or self. Because it applies to that image up there, that's why you want to change that to the object Im image box. This is minus 200, I could have made that 500, but it's in front of everything else. And then I have an exit box. So if you press escape on your keyboard or uh, do a backspace on your um, Android device, it will exit the game. I talked about that before. And in the image box, go to um, depths at minus 100, go to create and actions, make sure that the image speed is at zero, equals zero, image or well, index is zero, speed is zero, image number is equal to zero. So that means that when you first start the game, you have nothing in the box. It doesn't animate and randomly go through all the images, it stays stuck on that one image, which is zero, and zero is a blank image box. When you collect the item, then it'll jump to the next image in the box. So this basically just stabilizes it and keeps it at zero, and the image zero is nothing inside the image box. So it stays here as an empty box until you collect an item, and then it'll jump to an image. And then with the packages, I went to add event, got to create, and then I just made it direction is zero, speed zero, so it doesn't move. It's just going to be static right there until you collect it, and it's going to be destroyed, and you'll collect the item in your image box. And that's pretty much it. So all these buttons here are dealing with keyboard selection. And then like I said, the other buttons are separated, but they correlate to the object, which is the player. All right, I'll put the GMX file in the YouTube description and you can download it and play with it and understand it better that way. Um, like I said, you can watch my other uh, video on arrays and to understand it from the beginning and then jump into this one um, dealing with the uh, actual image arrays. Thanks for watching.